My name is Maya Boyd and I'm a second year at the University of Chicago. This summer, I worked in a supergroup with Professor Blaise Erm on the safety guidelines for Black Lives Matter Activist Project. Black Lives Matter is a global activist organization that aims to address violence against Black communities by authorities. The Black Lives Matter movement began on social media as a response to the acquittal of George Zimmerman for the murder of Trayvon Martin in 2013. The BLM movement has since grown into the organization it is today. It consists of over 40 registered chapters across the world. It relies heavily on social media to connect chapters and supporters of the movement together. During spring and summer 2020, the BLM movement had an influx of support online and offline. The wrongful deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmaud Aubrey sparked thousands of protests across the world. Many BLM supporters attending these protests are faced with a multitude of concerns, including computer security and technology safety concerns. Our main goal in this project is to understand those concerns. We are particularly interested in participants' concerns about surveillance, security, and privacy related to their participation in Black Lives Matter activities and protests. We hope to answer the research questions. One, what are the concerns that BLM supporters have about safety, security, and privacy at BLM events? Two, how do BLM supporters learn how to mitigate their concerns about BLM events? Three, what is the alignment between the concerns that BLM supporters have and their actions? Four, how can the privacy and security concerns of BLM supporters be used to create and improve technology for political activists? In order to answer those questions, we started by researching safety guides that are widely used by activists that are attending BLM protests. We wanted to know which safety guides were the most popular and what recommendations are the most prevalent among these guides. These recommendations showcase what main safety and security concerns that BLM activists have and what steps they can take to address those concerns. We collect the safety guides from Google and Twitter using keywords such as Black Lives Matter Protest Safety Guide or BLM Protest Safety Advice. We collected 91 safety guides in total, and 41 of those safety guides mentioned phone security and privacy. The safety guides that mentioned phone security and privacy include topics such as password protection, protecting notifications, using end-to-end -end encryption apps, preventing location tracking, using a burner phone, and using a VPN. After analyzing these safety guides, we found that most guides mentioned basic phone safety tips such as password protection and using end-to-end -end encryption apps such as Signal, while other more intricate phone safety tips were mentioned less such as using guided access for screen fitting and using secure browsers other than Chrome. 27 out of 41 guides mentioned turning off biometrics and 11 out of these 27 guides mentioned using a password instead. 26 out of 41 guides mentioned using the end-to-end -end encryption app called Signal, but only three guides mentioned using WhatsApp. Signal is also recommended over WhatsApp four times. This shows us that using Signal is the most prevalent advice about into encryption apps and BLM protest safety guides. So after analyzing the safety guides, we wanted to know if common pieces of advice like using Signal are actually used by protesters at protests. In order to answer this question, we created a survey to ask BLM supporters about their participation in the BLM movement, the concerns they have about protests, and how they address those concerns. The survey also asked participants how the events of some spring and summer 2020 affected their concerns. By asking these questions, we hope to understand the alignment between their concerns and their actions and how these concerns can eventually be addressed. We are launching the survey on Prolific, but we are also recruiting through social media for participants as well. By acquiring these two different sets of data, we hope to accumulate data that accurately portrays the concerns of BLM supporters. The data from the survey will help us to better understand the main computer security concerns that BLM supporters have about protests and how these concerns can be addressed by new or existing technology. The safety guide analysis has shown us the most prevalent computer security and technology safety advice among safety guides used by political activists. Knowing what advice is most commonly given has helped us to understand what phone security concerns that BLM supporters may have and what concerns we should ask about in the survey. We are currently collecting data from the survey. We hope that this data will help us better understand the most prevalent phone security concerns that BLM supporters have and how they address those concerns. The survey will also help us understand if their concerns can be reduced by existing technology or if only new technology can diminish their concerns. We are currently writing a research paper on the data we have collected from the safety guides and the survey. We also would like to to eventually create technology that addresses the technology safety and computer security concerns of political activists. Thank you for listening to my project final video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will now answer any questions you have about my project.